Hi, this is Dustin from Fabspeed. Today I'm going to go over a tutorial on how to use our handheld tuner device. The beauty of our device is it allows us to tune your car remotely using our handheld. So let's unbox it and take a look. So inside the box we have our device. We have a printout of our instruction sheet. And in the bottom here is where you're going to find your cables. Your obd do cable for connecting to the vehicle and a USB cable for connecting to your computer. So before we ship our device to you, we pre-program it for the model vehicle that you're going to be tuning today. Today we'll be doing it on the 987.2 Boxer Spider behind me. Go ahead and connect your cable and we'll move inside the car. So we're gonna plug our handheld tuner device into the vehicle's diagnostic port. But before that you do that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you monitor your battery voltage with some sort of battery charger, tender, um, jump pack, something along those lines. Keep it above 12 volts while we're doing the process. So on this model Porsche, the diagnostic port is located underneath the dashboard. On some other model cars, you might find it located in the fuse panel here. So let's go ahead and connect into the OBD2 port. It's a little bit difficult to reach down here. Where's she at? This is not graceful. There she is. So now that we're connected to the vehicle's diagnostic port, we're gonna begin to pull the read or the ID from the vehicle. In this stage, we are going to identify the software version that's on your computer um, and save it to the device so we can compile your tune file. During this stage, you're gonna to want to, you're gonna to be told to turn the key on, the ignition key on and off multiple times. Uh, you're gonna to want to make sure that you have your accessories, your blower motor, your radio, things like of that nature off. So let's go ahead and start pulling the read or ID out of this vehicle. So here we are at the home screen of the device. The device will prompt you the instructions as you work along through the steps. It might vary slightly from model to model. This is a general guideline. All right, let's go ahead and start pulling the reader ID. So you're at the home screen, it says work. You're going to select the work stage. Uh, first screen that comes up is part identify. It's gonna identify what model ECU it's speaking with. It says, uh, please connect to the stabilized battery charger um, for the serial protocol. We have it on the charger now. We know our voltage is good. So we're gonna have, go ahead and switch on the, the dashboard. This is important to make sure you go to position two with the ignition key. You have your standard ignition accessories on and then you have uh, full ignition on which you'll see all your dashboard lights, your check engine light illuminate. On a key fob vehicle, you gotta make sure your key fob is inside the car. So we're here and this is step now, so let's go ahead and click select okay. It's communicating with the car. This might take several moments. All right, it's now as prompting me to switch off the dashboard. So make sure you turn it so that your check engine light and other uh, dashboard lights turn off. Select OK. The protocol for communicating with this ECU is eliminated. It's not really necessary to you. Select OK. And now we're at the reading stage. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and read the information off of this, this computer inside this car. So reading. Again, it's gonna to prompt you about the voltage. Uh, we know we're good there. Switch on your dashboard. And it's gonna to begin to take the read of the vehicle. Um, if read was not an option, some vehicles, it might have you ID it. Uh, where it said read, it would then say ID and it would be a little bit quicker of a step. This might take several minutes. So the read has completed. It's instructing me to turn the dashboard off. I'm gonna turn the ignition key off. Select OK, and I get a prompt reading ECU complete. I'm gonna select OK again. It's now checking the file that it just saved, make sure that everything's good with uh, inside the device, and it returns us to the home screen. Uh, we have now completed the read process inside the vehicle. Uh, if you wanted to just double check, another thing you could do is select the work stage again, and now it says writing. This read file is saved to the device and the status of the device has changed. So we can now disconnect the device from the OBD2 port and leave the vehicle. So we've got our PC out. Unfortunately, this device does not work with uh, Macs, only PCs. So our first step is we're going to download and install the My Genius Client software. That's the, that's the software you'll need to extract the files from the device. You'll find the link on our website, additional products, My Genius Client software, and we have our instructions here as well if you had any questions. The software is now downloading. It's important to make sure you don't have any antivirus 
or firewall protection on right now because it might block parts of the download. If you need help with that, give us a call. So it's completed downloading. Let's go ahead and find that. A lot of times it'll download to your downloads file on your desktop. So let's install the software. It's gonna bring up the wizard here. Yes, go ahead and work through the screens. So the software is downloaded and installed. Uh, it does need to update after the first installation. Let's go ahead and do that now. This might take a moment or two. So our software has been installed and updated. We're now good to go ahead and connect our device to the computer. Get our cable out, our USB cable. Go ahead and connect that to your USB port and then to your device, the port's on the bottom. So our software has recognized the device. You don't have to select any buttons on the device. It's all on the PC. The button you're looking for here is the download from My Genius. We're gonna go ahead and select that. Uh, you wanna save this file to an easy find location. I have it set to my desktop. Go ahead and confirm. And it's gonna begin to download the file from your device. Procedure completed successfully. Go ahead and select close. Uh, here, here's the file. Important thing to note here is you won't be able to open this file, only we can. Uh, the important part is you have it saved and you're going to then send it to us. At this point, you're going to want to fill out your tuning sheet. You'll find that on the second page in the installation instructions. Um, we do have an electronic copy of this in a PDF format so that it can be easy for you to email. Uh, if you don't have uh, that capability, you could uh, write on it, take a picture, uh, scan it, anything along those lines, but um, make sure you include your information, uh, the vehicle make, uh, VIN, the fuel octane, and the modifications to the vehicle. Go ahead and fill that out, and we're going to email that as, as well as that file we just saved to tuning at fabspeed.com. So within 24 to 48 hours, you'll receive an email back to us with your tune file attached. I've gone ahead and saved this tune file to uh, my desktop for easy locating. And we could go ahead and open up the My Genius Client software, because now we're gonna load our tune file onto our device. So we're gonna select Upload to My Genius now. Select the file that I emailed you. Uh, so this is, I saved it to the desktop. Here she is. It will add the file to here to be added, so you'll select Next now and confirm. We are now uploading the file to the handheld unit. When you return to the home screen, you're good to unplug and make your way back to the vehicle. So let's go to the car now. We've made our way back into the vehicle. Go ahead and plug your device in your OBD2 port and we'll begin the tuning process. It's time to upload the tune file. We're gonna go ahead and select the work, writing, and now you'll see the tune file is loaded to the device. We're gonna select that. It's verifying the file. It's gonna prompt you to make sure you have the battery charger on. Go ahead and turn the dashboard on. It's prompting me to turn the dashboard off. Again with the ignition key. And now it's writing the tune file to the vehicle. The writing process could take several minutes. So the device has finished programming the computer and it's prompting me now to turn the ignition key off. So we're going to follow the, the remaining steps. When it's having me turn these ignition key on and off, it's doing a series of tests and also clearing trouble codes. This is critical to do. Don't skip through it. It's verifying it's, it did its job. Switching off the dashboard. Switch the dashboard back on. This is doing as if the device is prompting me to do. Off with the dashboard. And writing ECU complete. Selecting OK. It's double checking now that it did all of its steps. And we are complete. You have now comp successfully tuned your vehicle. You can now remove the device from your vehicle. You are all set. Your vehicle is tuned. Um, enjoy the extra power and speed uh, brought to you by Fabspeed.